Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We are going to introduce in detail how you can make the glass material you need in D5 Render. Basically, there are two ways of modeling. One is solid modeling, which means building models in a geometrically correct way. The other is surface modeling with only visible facets in order to keep the model file light. When glass materials are applied to the latter, they may have incorrect refractions. To fix this, you don't need to model in DCC software again. Turn on the Thickness option in D5 Render instead. The glass will immediately have a correct refraction, which is quite convenient. By adjusting transparency, you can decide how much light can pass through the glass material. Roughness controls how smooth the glass surface is. For now, the effect of frosted glass made with roughness may not be evident. So we'll introduce a better method in the later part of how to make frosted glass. The specular parameter influences how much light will be reflected by the glass material. You can create solid colored glasses by changing the base color or gradient colored glasses with a map. Observing the glass facades in the real world, we can see that they have a reflection looking like waves. That's because glasses usually have slight bumps on their surfaces due to the processing technology. So, how to achieve this effect? You just need a normal map. Take this building for example. To simulate those wavy reflections in glass, you just need to import a normal map, reduce its UV value, and increase the normal intensity a bit. Just a bit is enough. You can see the difference. A normal map can also play magic when you want to make fluted glass. These tiny changes could be the finishing touch on your scene. Actually, it's quite easy to make a tinted glass facade. First, offset the surface of the facade model. Change the material of the offset surface to custom with a black to white normal map. After importing it into D5 Render, you can give the offset surface the texture of cloth. Then add a black to white gradient map into the opacity column. Align the surface model and the facade model. The facade will become black tinted. Here's a trick to make frosted glass in D5 Render. Add a normal map, stretch its UV, and increase the intensity. Done. That's all you need to do. We put the normal maps used in this tutorial in the description. You can download them and give them a try. That completes our tutorial. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, which has many free high-quality tutorials.